Hey, Tea Sipping Bookworms, what's up? It's me, Gabby, from Tea and the blog of books, Tea and Everything Me. All right, guys. Oh my gosh, it's been a minute since I've done a book review. Yeah, <laughs> you're watching a book review. And this book review was originally supposed to be with my friend Jihaida, but girl, you're gonna have to forgive me because you know I'm a perfectionist. We shot that book review and there was a whole bunch of stuff in the frame that I didn't want to be in the frame. It was kind of a quick effort and I really should have taken more time to do it, but we didn't really have that much time. And I don't know, it was my first time trying to do a book review with someone. I wanted to do it with my friend because she's the reason why I read the book in the first place. But Jihada, you're going to have to forgive me. So yes, this is a book review. Now, it's been a minute since I've done a book review, but I think I remember how it's done. First of all, I like to tell you where I got the book. Technically, I already told you that, where I found out about the book. Then I like to read to you the summary of the book because the summary of the book explains the book so much better than I can. Normally, I like to share three points that I thought were good about the book that I think you would like too. But today I only have two points because it be like that sometimes. And then I like to share with you some stuff that I intend to put only in the blog post and then at the very, very end of the book review, if there's something that I absolutely did not like about the book, I share that too. So let's get started. So I didn't even tell you what the book is. The book is right here or right here. It's called From Scratch by Timby Locke. Loved this book, y'all. It's been a minute since I've read like a memoir. I don't even know. I, I don't know how long it's been since I've read a book like this. I feel like my entire like last 10 years have been nothing but self-help books. <laughs> kind of explains my whole situation, right? This is probably the first like memoir that I've read in a long time and I'm glad that it was the first. Okay, so once again, my friend Jihaida, she suggested this to me. Now, the reason why she suggested this book is because, long story short, she had told me about Barnes and Nobles having a 50% off hardcover book sale, okay? And so I was like, ooh, I wanna get books that uh, are about cooking. Like I wanna get some new cookbooks and some books about Italy. So whenever I told her that, she thought about this book because, well, you'll, you'll find out, okay? But she thought about this book and suggested the book to me. We went to Barnes and Nobles together and, but we couldn't find this book when we went together. I ended up going back the next day because like I said, Barnes and Nobles was having a 50% off of all hardcover books and hardcover is my favorite. And at the end of the day, I felt like I didn't get enough books the first time around, okay? You can't, you can't go out like that. So I went back and I found the book. I looked harder and found the book and I found it. It was like the only copy. So maybe they had just put it out there, I don't know. But that's how I found out about this book. I actually ended up finding out about it from a friend and then buying it at Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> okay, so let me read to you the summary of this book and then you'll get an idea of why Jihaida, my friend, suggested it to me after I told her I wanted books about Italy. A poignant and transporting, excuse me, let me start over, okay? A poignant and transporting cross-cultural love story set against the lush backdrop of the Sicilian countryside where one woman discovers the healing powers of food and family in her darkest hour. And hey, this is a memoir, it's a real story. So it's not like a romantic fi fiction. No, it's a real story of love and Sicily and Italy and Italian food. Let me, let me finish reading the summary, okay? It was love at first sight when Timby met Saro on a street in Florence, Italy. But right from the start, the young lovers faced a series of threats to their happily ever after. Chief among them, Saro's traditional Sicilian family disapproved of his marrying a black American woman. Heartbroken, but fueled by love, the couple forged on in the face of this estrangement. They built a happy life in Los Angeles with fulfilling careers and deep friendships and adopted a baby girl who became the light of their lives until they faced their greatest threat, one that upended everything they thought they knew about family and forgiveness. In the wake of crises, Timby sought solace in Sicily, her husband's home homeland. 
There she found nourishment, literally and spiritually, at her mother-in-law's table. And with the healing gifts of simple, fresh food, the embrace of a close-knit community, and the power of enduring love, she developed the strength to step into a new life. Luminous and lyrical and complete with 16 recipes drawn from the couple's culinary adventures from scratch, this book, is, anyone, is for anyone who has dared to reach for big love, has fought for what mattered most, and has needed a reminder that life is, after all, delicious. <laughs> Guys, okay. If you didn't get excited listening to that summary that I don't know what's wrong with you, are you on the right blog? This is a tea and book blog, okay, by the way. Tea sipping bookworms, yes, okay. And the beautiful thing about this story is that it is a true love story. So my friend suggested this to me because, you know, I went through a divorce and she felt like this would be a great story to remind me of love. And it really was. So let me tell you what I loved about it and Hopefully these are the things that you'd love about it too. Okay, I got my notes here because you know I like to derail. So, um, first thing that I loved about this book was that it was relatable for me. It was a lovely read about love and food. Two things I love to be entertained by. I love books and movies about food like Eat, Pray, Love. <laughs> Ooh, I love movies like that or like the hundred the hundred foot is it a hundred foot journey or a hundred mile journey I forget a hundred foot journey M movies and books like that oh my god just like literally gives me life okay so I loved this book Tim B. Locke an African-American woman with roots just like mine starting in East Texas Marshall um my grandmother is from east texas and we used to go down there all the time so that we could you know do like family um reunions and stuff so i'm from texas um she goes to italy and falls in love with an italian man nicknamed sorrow and discovers the love of food and culture simultaneously um i've never been to italy but i want to go and i definitely have never fallen in love in italy but <laughs> why not <laughs> Sounds like sounds like the next best thing to do. I never stopped believing in love like after my divorce and never stopped believing in, in exploration. But you know, after going through something like a divorce, which is a tremendous loss, um, I felt like I needed something positive to remind it, to remind me how much I did love love, how much I did believe in love. And these types of things, books like this, really do help you like restore your faith in love so that's one of the things that i really liked about this book <laughs> the second thing that i have that i really loved about this book is i loved how timby Locke described her grief the grief of losing her husband but of course any kind of gr grief could be applied um i particularly liked how she described her process going through grief on page 222 let me see if I can read that to you. Page 222, she says, I continued to watch the girls taking turns stirring and then straining the curds into waiting baskets, using tools to apply gentle pressure to drain the new still warm cheese. I couldn't help but feel that I too was being stirred and molded and then shaped again, a grief metamorphosis. Now past the one year mark, I had begun to filter out the unneeded parts of my life life was separating my curd from my way i began to understand that cheese making especially making a will of infused pecorino is a lot like dealing with grief it requires time labor attention it also needs to be left alone for a time it requires gentle hands but also strong intentions and in the process there is pressure there are the curring and solidifying in cheese making the curring comes from the earth element salt it requires pressure and the addition of time, but grief also involves pressure and time. Isn't that so true? I mean, even if you didn't lose a loved one in death, let's say you've gone through a divorce or you've, you know, any type of extreme loss, there's a grieving process. And she describes the grieving process so well, intertwining it with Italian recipes and such. Okay, and the third thing that I'm gonna add that I didn't have, but I'm going to add just now, is that there are recipes in this book. And you know, I love me a good recipe. I love, I love books that have recipes in it. There are recipes in this book towards the back, and I am yet to try a couple of them. But me and my friend, we said that we were going to try it. And definitely, 
gonna try it probably have to invite some ladies over and we set a table and have italian food and think about love and loss and all the things that you know make life dramatic all right so let me tell you what i'm going to put inside of the blog post i am going to put maybe one of the recipes that i found inside of this book um there are oh, there's also something else i wanted to mention um uh, oh yeah there's two things in this book that i'm going to be looking like the the man she married this man right here this man right here this is the man that we all want okay and this man has characteristics two of them that i noted that i'm going to be looking for in my next husband so i'm gonna put that in the blog post and you can go check that out <laughs> what else am i gonna put in the blog post i think that's it i think that's all i got okay so is there anything about this book that i absolutely did not like what do you think nothing nothing about the book that i didn't like i loved it it's a true story it's not a fiction story this lady is absolutely gorgeous she actually remarried but she still you know claims her love for sorrow i mean i follow her on instagram now and everything i'm just saying she's my friend she don't know it um the thing is is i love the book there's nothing about it that i would complain about her writing style lovely explained everything very well and there's really no complaints i mean she restored my uh you know she restored my my love for love you know one of the things that helped me restore my love for love is definitely this book and i'm glad that my friend jihada suggested it so thank you girl i appreciate it well that is it that is my book review of from scratch by timby lock be sure that you are following at TN Blog on, you know, Instagram, TikTok. Now TN Blog is on TikTok. I do poetry on TikTok. Um, still trying to work out TikTok. Um, the Grace and Gratitude Journal is still available on TNBlog.com. And you can check me out. Like, I need to really start posting places where I vend because I vend in Dallas and you know dallas texas if you're in dallas then you'll be able to check out my table if i'm vending and the grace and gratitude journal is there also make sure you follow at i mean i already said that make sure you follow or subscribe to the blog tendblog.com you know it's subscribing to the blog that keeps you in the loop with what's going on because sometimes i'm in the loop sometimes i'm not i'm out of the loop but when i come back in the loop you'll know i'm back in the loop because you are subscribed all right and it's free to subscribe and that is T end. Until next time, keep sipping and reading happily ever after.